What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you'll find me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. This video is going to be a quick roundup to the mask toys that I bought a few weeks back. Uh, a lot of people seem to like the toys that I picked up, so I thought we'd do a separate video uh, rather than just do it as part of the monthly roundup. We'll probably show a few bits in the monthly roundup, but I thought this was deserving of its own video. So I paid £20 for the whole box. As you can see, the first item sold for £22. Now the fees on top of that were £2.38, which meant I was 62 pence shy of paying for the whole lot for with one figure. However, I allowed £4 for postage, which was second class signed for. Ended up going to the GSP, so I sent it second class standard, which meant this item paid for the whole box, which meant that everything else was pure profit, which is always very nice. Now, initially, when this lady pulled out the box, she said, oh, yeah, it's all transforming stuff in there. Initially, I thought it was going to be uh, possibly G1 Transformers. If that was the case, chances are I would have kept absolutely everything inside the box. So to be fair, I'm probably kind of glad it wasn't because um, this was a nice money maker. This paid for a lot more investment. So what I did was I put one item up first purely just to test the waters. The idea was I weren't too sure whether I was it would be best to put it off as a bite now or put it up as an auction. But we had nine bids. There was quite a few watchers. So I thought, you know what? The bite nows are all over the place and a lot of the items are just sitting there. So let's just get rid of everything. So I did the one item first and then did a bulk load of maybe five or six and then did three or four after that. So our first item is the Raven. Now, pictures wise, here we have the driver inside. Next up, we have him saying hello, and then we have his max power pose. Then we have the driver and the accessory, driver and accessory, driver and accessory. Then we have one side of the vehicle, as you can see, the scuffs all the way down it. The back, the spoiler, and I presume they're rockets to make the vehicle go faster. Then we have the other side of the vehicle. Then we have the door that's fallen off. Now, I did put this in the description as well saying that the the door was loose it does pop back in but it quite often just comes back out again i presume it's because that looks a little bit loose there that may require uh, putting the door back in clamping and gluing this area but i i didn't want to mess around with it it's just it's just not worth it so that was that item as i say that paid for the whole lot probably made about 20 pence on top which was quite nice next item is the Thunderhawk. Now, I messed up with this one because I actually put Thunderhawk twice uh, with this one and the next item. This one went for £56. The fees were £6 and 5 pence. So, pictures wise, we have a picture of everything included. Now, this is now the eighth time I've tried recording this because I keep on messing something up every single time. So, this is how not to take pictures of your items on eBay. Yeah. They're all the wrong way around. And then we have a picture of the vehicle and then you'll see from this picture there's a nice layer of dust over here i put in the description of every single one that these toys had been in the garage for the last 20 plus years and would acquire sorry and would require additional cleaning and tlc because i wasn't going to risk damaging any of the sticker work trying to clean it it's just in my opinion it wasn't worth the risk because it, as a collector if i was to buy something like this I think half of the fun as a collector would be trying to restore it and like have before and after pictures. So I thought, you know what? It's not worth it. Let's just throw pictures up and let's just get rid of it. So that was the Thunderhawk. Sold for £56. As I say, fees were around £6 and 5 pence. Absolutely fantastic. I actually had quite a few people message me as to whether I would combine shipping no one won more than one item so i had people both in the uk and overseas asking whether i would combine and yeah no one won more than one item which is kind of annoying but then again it saves a hassle of trying to bundle everything try and still package it effectively and safely without it becoming too big so next item is the again it's another thunderhawk which it obviously isn't Although I can't remember which one's right and which one's not. However, I've received positive feedback for both this item and the previous. So I presume everything is absolutely fine. So this one sold for £41. The fees were £4.43. So again, pictures wise, uh, he's on top of the bonnet. And we have uh, the same shot, but a refocus onto the front of the vehicle instead. Then we have the figure and the mask. 
the the non-rotated figure and the mask side of the vehicle back of the vehicle side of the vehicle and then you can see the crack on the wheel there so what i did say with this one i think the spoiler wouldn't uh, go down and stay so again that was just put in the description seller the buyer was absolutely fine so uh, i presume he's very very happy with his purchase again stated in pretty much i think it's every single one from here on in that these toys will need cleaning so next up is the bullet now the the bullet didn't go for very much it went for eight pound fifty fees were 92 pence so here we have the driver with the mask again it's another unrotated picture i don't know why it's done that because i know that i go through and i turn every single one but maybe ebay doesn't quite pick it up fast enough before i i close the app so fairly beaten up but yeah eight pound fifty pretty much pure profit next up is the firefly now this is the one that i was tempted to keep simply because it just it's, it transforms into like a spaceship man so uh here we have a picture of the driver and the vehicle and then here he is giving us a little wave and here it is in its flight mode and then we have a picture of a little man himself little man himself and then back into car back into car back into car back into car and that is pretty much a repeat photo i don't quite know why that's there and that's reminded me that i need to clean my background that's the thing with a lot of these items they come like straight out of someone's loft or garage so there's a lot of dirt in them but 19 pounds uh fees on that was two pounds and five pence so again pretty much all profit we'll go into the the profit of the whole thing once we get to the end next up is the hurricane uh night stalker didn't go for that much at all uh, mainly because i think it was missing quite a few weapons let's just go into it so this section here pops out and is like a, a laser turret but the whole thing does go down so that it sits like a, a normal car and it pops up as well when you rotate this section here and uh so you have a picture of of the little man he's obviously not got his mask which is why i don't think it went for as much there's sticker residue there but again i wasn't going to clean it because i don't want to damage any of the flame stickers that are behind it or any of the paintwork picture of the side picture of the back picture of the side and a picture of the underside so yeah didn't go for mega bucks but again we are well in profit by now next up is the switchblade now the switchblade was obviously missing its blades as you're about to see so here we have uh, the i think it's one of the generals but it's the correct one i think that top section alone if that's in really good condition i've seen that sell for a few quid on its own uh spares and repairs always sell well so the switchblade sold for 21 pounds and 51 pence fees were two pounds and 32 pence and we have a picture of the top as you can see the blades are completely missing and that wing is slightly discolored another picture from the cockpit picture of our little figure man figure man unmasked figure man and then the top section uh probably should have put more pictures up for this one but yeah it again stated that it would need cleaning it would need tlc next up is oh the volcano now this one was obviously quite a lot higher and it wouldn't make itself small enough to get into a small parcel so end up going medium parcel did it via uh shuttle i think so it went for 25 pounds with most of these i the starting bid would have been what ebay had recommended nice picture there with uh with half of my light box in the back no masks unfortunately which is really really annoying uh then we have a picture of the toys again you can see it's really really dirty but i i just didn't want to damage the toys i'd rather just get get rid and let whoever wins the item fix not fix but clean uh, the toys back and restore it but a nice big item you see there's a bit of rust there on the screw but yeah uh, it was quite nice went for 25 pound uh, the fees on that were two pound 70 next up is the rhino i quite like this one and i thought actually it's about what i thought this was going to go for because um the buy it now price was all over the place so here we have the big old truck itself we have the driver with its mask which you can see there looks to be a little bit damaged there although it doesn't look like it's been chewed so i'm not quite sure what's going on there uh one of the accessories which goes into that 
which does fire. I did test it. You can see that this all is all supposed to be chrome in this section here. Over time, the, the chrome is just fading, unfortunately. If that was all chromed out still, I, I think this would have gone for almost double what it went for. But again, bit of dust there. It just needs cleaning. But I, I really don't want to damage these toys. And then there was the accessory for that bit, which I did include, but I didn't put it in the picture. In hindsight, I probably should have uh, retaken the photos. But I'll be honest, I completely forgot. So three items left. Uh, so this sold for £35.99. The fees on that were £3.89. Next up is the Rhino, I think. No. Slingshot. So it's just a little RV. And then inside the RV... Oh, you're joking. There we go. I thought the other pictures weren't there for a second. Inside the RV is like a, a little attack helicopter, which pops out. But I, I am sure... There we go. My keyboard's playing up. I thought I took more pictures than that. So yeah, nice and easy. Um, small parcel again, and half of these went international. So it ended up going to the Global Shipping Program, which meant I made an extra pound on postage as well. Last item, uh, sorry, £20, £2.16 on fees. There we have the mixed bundle. Now there were a couple of items in this bundle which weren't included, but I did put that several times in the description. I've not had feedback yet, but I'm sure it'll be fine. If not, then I will make sure that they send everything back to me. So, just a mixed lot of everything. You can see there's a nice selection of masks there. Uh, some of the masks actually do go with a few of the characters. Like this one, this mask here, does go with this character here. But I wanted to separate everything because it just makes the lot look a little bit bigger. And people obviously know instantly what masks go with which toys so just a huge lot of spares and repairs i think the two that i took out was this uh cable cord and this power pack but again that was put in the description multiple times so that would not be included uh, and this went for 48 pounds now the fees on top of that were five pound and 18 pence so which meant it went for a pretty penny to be honest uh, and the last item of the lot is the oil tank. Now this just, just, just fit as a small parcel. So it managed to get everything in one parcel. Everything was packed superbly. What I tend to do is I will wrap the, the main items in bubble wrap. And then the, the filler I tend to use is a biodegradable packing peanut. Which when people take it out. Uh, if you get it wet, it just sorts to start to dissolve, but it can just be put into a compost because uh, it's just starch. So yeah, this one went for thirty pounds. Fees were three pound twenty-four. So nice big picture. You can see there's one figure complete, one guy without a mask, and then the accessories that it comes with. A picture of the accessories, picture of the toys, picture of the toys, picture of the toys unmasked, and then unfortunately it's missing the big old rocket that comes out the back, but it's um it's toys that's been sitting in someone's loft for a bloody long time probably almost 30 years so uh yeah as for what did we make my maths uh mean nothing but my maths say that we we sold everything for 333 pounds and 80 pence the fees were 36 pounds and five pence which meant after fees we sold everything for 297 pounds and 75 pence which meant after the initial payment of the goods, we made £277.75, which wasn't bad. So as far as a B on the lookout for, Mask Toys. You want to find Kenner Mask 1986 off the top of my head. I think most of the toys were released. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of money to be made in those. Um, I mean, yeah, as I say, if they were Transformers, if they were G1 Transformers, I most likely would have kept them for myself. But because they were masked a little bit before my time, I mean, I was born in 89, so I don't think I had any masked toys growing up whatsoever. I'd have to ask my cousins to see whether it was something that they had when they were younger. But yeah, definitely something to be on the lookout for is mask. There was a lot of money to be made. Uh, I hope this video was somewhat helpful and informative. 
this wasn't a willy wanging sort of thing uh it's just uh put it out there it's a lot of thing so it's a thing where a lot of people would just walk past because someone might be selling something like this and they might want a tenner for it but you now know from experience that, that will sell for 30 quid plus so that's it from me as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you lovely lot in the next video good gaming and happy collecting adios Thank <laughs> you.